Greetings, everyone. Um, we've been playing this for a long time, but we finally got around to doing it. Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. Uh, Ooh, time scary. of recording, um, November 1st. Damn uh, it. 2012. We missed it by about a, about a few hours, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're like the Simpsons every year, then. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I was gonna. I was actually gonna bring that up myself. <laughs> it's like this is not the Simpsons from uploading their uh, uploading, uh, posting their uh, Halloween special a week after Halloween ended. I was always annoyed by that, but I, I kept, watched it anyway. And they kept <laughs> doing it too. <laughs> Look at how shiny and great and non-polygonal everything looks. It's almost like this is a new generation of awesome graphics that are awesome. Can I still say that Luigi's Mansion still is a very good-looking game. He, he, yeah, I still think it looks very good, especially for a launch title of TCN. I, th I think it's one of the best games, that to, to, best-looking games, I should say, to come out of the first half of the GameCube's lifespan. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, like most games from that half of the GameCube's lifespan, it hasn't that well. Like, it's it's, aged, it pre it's aged pretty well, actually. It's aged pretty well, but when you look at it now, the with a critical eye, it does sort of have its meh. Mostly via textures and areas, but... Well, I mean, well, first off, look at how great the lighting effect is, especially since the flashlight is, plays such an important role in the game. They get the shadows and stuff to look really yep. good. Uh, this game is also supposed to be uh, 3D, wasn't it? Or something well, it was like that. It tested with 3D in mind. Yeah, so uh, the, if you look at it, this does look like it would look very much like a 3DS game, since everything's very, uh, looks like you're supposed to reach, it looks like everything's supposed to reach back, and the way the camera angles are, are I th about. I it, think that had something more to do with its heart factor. Well, you know, the, the, the whole spooky factor, ooh, it's reaching for the player and not so much Luigi, but... Well, uh, just uh, looking at it now, it makes a lot of sense, uh, especially with 3DS games, it makes a lot of sense that this had 3D in mind when they were programming it. But what I want to know is if if that is true, and I, I believe I thought. also did... Hold that thought. thought. Why did Luigi put away his flashlight to pick up the key? Because he had to look cool. You can't hold the key and flashlight at the same time, man. Have you ever played Doom? You can't <laughs> hold your flashlight and use the gun at the same time. Man, this is this. No such thing as multitasking. Anyway, what I was getting at is that you said the... I, I, I think I recall reading an article where they said they initially planned to have this with 3D in mind, but in 2001, what person would have a 3D TV at that time? It was more that, no, it was more that the system would be producing the 3D effect, but it didn't look good on most TVs, so they scrapped it. Nice. I have a question. <laughs> How does the vacuum pull someone along like that? That makes science. No sense. It makes no sense. Science. Well, let's see. Well, Lewis, it makes no sense to you. But how many years have you spent studying the paranormal? And how Pro many advancements have you made in vacuum technology? <laughs> More than this guy, from the look of it. By the way, that that single one tooth sticking out of his mouth makes him look like a really wrinkled old baby. He is a really wrinkled old baby. He even looks like that when he's younger. I think it was Partners in Time had you see yeah, Yucky Gab, and he looks pretty much the same, only with brown hair. Oh no, Pac-Man ghosts, run! Waka 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 waka. Someone ate the reverse big dot. Ooh, um, what, this what's, hap what, what's happened to Egad actually throughout the years? We, we haven't really seen him since uh, shit, like Partners Superstar Saga. Yeah. Or says uh, partners in time. You're right. He just he doesn't has, exist, really. He has support roles and some stuff, and, he's and back, they, they he's reference back. Luigi's Mansion all over the place. So I'm pretty sure he still exists. He's back for uh, Mansion Two: Dark Moon, which I'm really looking forward to. By the way, that's a 3DS game, though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Blah. 
What? What's wrong? What's wrong? I hate I hate console game sequels that wind up relegated to handhelds. I'm sorry. Well, we're getting uh, to I, a point I, where I, handhelds I can, can handle console level games. I can see where you're getting at that, Lewis, but at the same time, the 3DS is more powerful than the GameCube, so no. It's anything, not you just a matter of hardware power, it's the principle of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you're so, you're well, talking that, like that's handhelds why are need to get the 3DS inferior XL. to their consoles, and they're not. I actually prefer handhelds most of the time. I, that, you need to get the 3DS XL. I don't uh, like handhelds. I can plug them into a TV and play them like a console anyway. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I, I really can't do that. <laughs> uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first Mario game to give any Mario character a personality, isn't it? Pretty much. What, 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 what do you mean? What are you, what are you getting at? Well, because this game I remember is definitely the thing that started off the Luigi is sort of more of a cowardly hero than Mario. And as far as I can remember, that's the first shred of any real identifiable personality trait. Okay, well, Wario. Wario had a pretty definable personality. But I mean, like, still. Yeah, before this, the Mario Brothers were pretty much clones of each other in terms of abilities and personality. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think back, and nothing's immediately coming to mind. Apart from, you know, the movie. Well, well uh, the cause super show this, or whatever, but... Because I'm thinking everything before this, like N64 Tennis and N64 Golf. I mean, Daisy was there, but she was pretty much just Peach. While Luigi was there, but he was pretty much just Wario. I think this was the game that where Nintendo decided, shit, we've got side characters. They should oh probably God. be different from each other. <laughs> now that I think about it, do you think they actually adapted Luigi's cowardice from the Super Show into the games? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Although, to be perfectly honest, this, in my opinion, makes Luigi more of a hero than Mario, who just blindly leaps into everything. Luigi's scared as shit about this place, but he wants to save his brother, so he's gonna suck it up and do it. Yeah, but at the same time, though, this is like one of Mario's rare missteps in his career path. <laughs> That's right, Luigi. You go brave the mansion. I'm just gonna hole up in my little graveyard uh, shack. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> Oh, you toad. Yeah. Do they just recycle the same toad model in every single Mario sports game after this? Thanks. So. Because it looks pretty <laughs> fucking familiar. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Now, you can say goodbye, but you pretty much. It's another one of those, but thou must. Oh, they do reference Peach in this game. He says something like the princess, princess will be mad or something yeah. like that. It's the yeah, only she'll, reference she has. Slip. It's, something happens to Mario. I love the Game Boy horror, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, like, sucking up dust and cobwebs, or is that He just wants a, to give Toad allergies. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just messing with Toad. Trying to suck up Toad. Yeah, yeah I love nope. the Game Boy horror. Such a great little pun. <laughs> Now the so, main gimmick of this game, collecting money! <laughs> money! Coins! 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 <laughs> and in the background you just see Wario with a tear drop down his face. I actually hear... I know you've yeah, got I, this gimmick I like four hear, times. A, a challenge run in Luigi's Mansion is trying not to pick up any money? Yeah, the worst rank is actually almost impossible to get. Because you can pretty much pick up enough money naturally to where you won't get the worst rank. So to get the worst rank is actually harder than the best rank. <laughs> I, think you have to, I think you have to purposefully drop, uh, purposefully uh, lose as much money as, ignore and lose money as much as possible. Yes. I don't think it's. Is it possible to get through the game with zero money by the end? No, you have to get at least ten, uh, ten thousand. Um. Because King Boo's crown is worth ten thousand. Oh uh, no! I have to get ten thousand dollars. Oh, this is not a good night. <laughs> I can't help but think that objects you should that 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 are designed to have like close up camera shots of themselves in the game should have better textures than this. Well, this it's is the GameCube only game. it's the only time it happens. Mm -hmm. It's also a GameCube game, so I'm willing to forgive. Well, first off, a launch game, so I'm willing to forgive some sort of graphical flaws for a launch game. This looks damn spectacular. Yeah, I know. I just think if the cam, if the player is going to be forced to pay attention to an object, it should look a little better than the rest. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a cartoony game, but this game does actually sort of have a sort of foreboding atmosphere to it at times. Or for the it, itself, yeah. 
Yeah, like, not the ghost, but the mansion itself is kind of a creepy place. <laughs> Game Boy Horror. Not likely. Do you guys, uh... You guys ever, um... I, I, I don't know, if you guys ever remember the first time you ever play and beat in a game, you think of your surroundings uh, of what exactly it was when you were playing the game for the first time. When I play, think of Luigi's Mansion, I think of car horns, because um, uh, the first time I ever played Luigi's Mansion, uh, I actually rented it from a Hollywood video, and it was during the Puerto Rican Day Parade, and the one thing every... That asshole likes to do it. <laughs> it, it, it. They start blaring their horns. They start driving down, you know, my block, and that's all I can think of now when I play this damn game is fucking car horns. <laughs> well, the first time I played this game, I think it was I got it. I got the GameCube launch year, and this was it was a Christmas present. So I got this Pikmin in uh, uh, Luigi's. Uh, this Pikmin in uh, with my GameCube. So, um, I actually remember the first time I played it. it. It was frightening enough to the point where I wanted to turn the game off and play Pikmin instead, because it was a little bit happier looking. <laughs> happier keep looking. In mind, keep, in, keep in mind, this was 2001, so I was uh, eight years old at the time. Yeah, yeah you weren't thinking so much about the undertones, were you? <laughs> yeah. Looking back at it, this is sort of, this is like Happy Sunshine Land compared to some of the horrors I've seen in Pikmin. <laughs> Um, first time I played Luigi's Mansion was actually while waiting in line at my first midnight console launch. The first midnight console launch I went to was actually the GameCube on November 18th, 2001. Oh, really? So, yeah, I was played the demo for Luigi's Mansion in uh, Rogue Squadron like all night with some other kids. Uh, okay. Waiting in line. Yeah, I, I, I rented a Soft Hollywood Theater and I, I beat it in a weekend. This game is not very long <laughs> it's at all. It's a short game. Mm -hmm. That's really its only flaws. That's really just kind of short. Well, I remember a lot of people were sort of bitching about it because it wasn't a, it wasn't a Mario game. It's uh, a perfectly I, fine game. It's just a little short. Plus, at the, at, the, at the time this came out, it was pretty much the only good Ghostbusters, more or less, game. <laughs> 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 what about that Sega Genesis one? Oh, that crazy Japanese-only one? Video. No. No, oh, that other one. Yeah, weird one. Like, well, I was about to say it's still the only good Ghostbusters game, but then I remember they did something uh, recently. What was that? The, new, uh, the, the, the most recent Ghostbusters game, the one that's pretty much the third movie. It, it, it's okay, you know. It's just... Uh, I still prefer this game. <laughs> you just imagine it has uh, a, a little more charm, I think. Yeah. Whoa. Now, Trigger. when does the game tell you you can do that? Never does. Because I remember figuring it out, I think I, I, think, think, I, might I, fig I, I think you get hints to it. Actually, a funny thing about uh, getting uh, Luigi's Mansion, I know I'm sort of backtracking here, uh, but uh, when I first, uh, on Christmas morning when I was opening up my presents, before I opened up the box that had the GameCube in it, I opened up, um, the pre a present I opened up was the strategy guide to Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Sorry. More trick, so, uh, yeah, uh, slightly off topic, but I figured it was worth yeah, mentioning. Yeah, speedy Gotta Ooh. love it. Oh, oh, wait, you got it! You got it! Got it. Yep. Hells yeah. Wait, you've gotten two in a row. Didn't you say that you only got two in the course of this playthrough? No, I get more than that. Uh, to be fair, uh, this recording here is a retake of the first area of the game I recorded it. I'm just, as you can tell, this is a new style of recording. I am using my hot pot now. And I recorded it in a weird file format, so I'm actually this is actually a redo of the first area of the game. Moving up in the world ditches. Yep. No, the two yeah, of us. That as have I a recall, board. video editing kind of screwed over your original recording. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought that. You know, I thought that ghost was a set piece. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was just sitting there. He wasn't doing anything, and he didn't look like a Pac-Man ghost. So it didn't occur to me until I accidentally pointed my vacuum in his general direction that I could actually suck him up. Yeah, thinking about that, you know, um, I, I think a while ago I made a Luigi's par Mansion parody where you see Luigi walk into this room, and then I'm just voicing the ghost. It's like, oh, look at this guy. I'm just going to ignore Oh, my God, why are you doing this to me? I didn't do anything to you. Stop, please. I have a wife and kids. He does. He does have a wife and kids. We're going to kill the wife right now. Yes. Er, on, oh. <laughs> on, um, how do you kill a ghost? That's ghost. a lamp, Luigi. Don't die. 
<laughs> of course, you could just point your. Oh, back I thought you were. Oh wait, you're, are you trying to bugger by uh, rotating the fan? You're supposed to move the no. curtain. I thought. Wait, a, give it a second. Oh, is this? There's something in there. Yes. I assume. Money. What kind of money? Oh, just normal money. Bills. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know there were bills in there. Oh, it's euros. Wait, really? Ah, uh, the current exchange rate of this is shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's always best to check the room while it's dark, because there may be speedy spirits in there. Which are those that really fast-moving blue ghost I sucked in earlier that gave me the ruby. They're hidden in rooms, but you can only get them while they're dark. So once the room relates up, they're gone forever. Okay, okay you gotta start, you gotta start going across the streams. Luckily, there's only me, so... Yeah, there's only you. But Lo knowing Luigi, he'll somehow cross the streams with only one stream in the first place. <laughs> you know, thinking about this, this is a horror game, but the, but the horror isn't the ghosts. The horror is Luigi. I mean, yeah, you could the, play the, the psycho... <laughs> you, could, you could play the psycho music in this room, and it would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, normally, the ghosts are the bad guy, and the Ghostbusters are the good guys, but in this game, it's kind of not that way. Well, well baby it's, more, it's, more, it's, it's more so the portrait ghosts are just minding their own business. It's the booze who are up to shit. Well, no, a couple of them are dicks. Not all of them, but some. <laughs>